Hello there, Aquarius. How are you? Welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you're doing well. Looking forward to doing your readings here. Doing reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Get some accurate, profound messages for what's coming up in your four day forecast. Your seven day, pardon me, forecast. So Aquarius is the 11th astrological sign of the zodiac. Their symbol is the vessel, the water carrier. Their ruling planet is Uranus. Okay. And Aquarius is an air sign. Air sign Aquarius. Grounded, sometimes stubborn. Direct. Ready to go? Okay, Aquarius, so what I'm going to do is to get some preview messages with these tones. And in the meantime, I'm asking you here to focus your true intentions on the deck of cards right here so that we can get the most accurate messages out for you in this reading. Let's see what's going on in Aquarius' energy in this present time. Seven day forecast for Aquarius' energy. Thank you so much for coming through. Okay. Aquarius, I see there's love here. Maybe you're looking forward to love, starting something brand new in love. Like you're just going out dating for the first time after all. Good after a long time, you know. You may be interested in a water sign, an earth sign here. We have some water. I feel like you're being in your element, water, you're healing, but you're not really speaking a lot right now. You're not really being really emotionally invested. You are just taking it slow, nurturing yourself, focusing on your wealth, your value. Aquarius, thank you so much for being here, really. Um, if you find this video interesting so far, please go ahead and hit the like button. Much appreciated. It's a way for you to show support to my channel and for you to stay in touch with me so you can get more messages here. More messages for Aquarius, please. What's coming up in Aquarius's seven-day forecast in this week? Aquarius. Air sign, swift, direct. Mm. Okay. Aquarius sounds like a water sign, doesn't it? A wall, okay. But it's actually an air sign. Alright, we're gonna look at these cards briefly. Because they just chunked out, so you have the five of The five of wands here. Conflict, desires, conflicting desires. There's the seven of swords, wanting to f feel grounded and stable, even in the way you express yourself. The place that you live, maybe you're moving out, maybe you're being more direct, maybe you're clearing out your energy field. Maybe you have things to release. This is the two of wands, you being on your journey somewhere deciding to really align with your intuition aquarius so i feel like you're going you're using your breath work your focus your ability to focus this is the two of cups energy this is a cancerian pisces or scorpio card oh my god scorpio card that is um represented by the element water here so there could be a water sign in your life a love life this is also a soulmate card so there could be a soulmate energy in your life somebody that you love Aquarius let's see there is the knight of Pentacles so something coming into you so either going to bring in stability financially or emotionally in the feeling of your value this could be an offer coming into you a financial Stability, something will make you feel more stable financially, which is amazing to look forward to within the week. 
we have the death card something is over i feel like a long awaited something is over something long awaited what is that could it be money let's see the seven of cups indecision feeling a bit burdened by having too many choices not knowing what to choose really um emotional emotionally as well what to really invest in how to really feel so i feel like you're going through a phase of emotional maturity where you could also be doing um repeating cycles in your life emotionally being triggered by the same things but you're really reflecting now taking the time to seek out your emotional field and to see how to heal yourself something is being revealed within your week so a secret may be coming to light for you this week too maybe something that will help you to choose better to know what to choose what to focus your energy or intentions on we have the hierophant the card of marriage and alliance allegiance alliance so this person coming into you which is your soulmate flame your soulmate slash twin flame which we mentioned above could be wanting to get married to you with the hierophant so there could be a possible wedding coming up for you within the week some of for some of you are a marriage proposal uh, somebody wants to give something to end a cycle we have the seven of wands where there was you standing against maybe a fire sign you having to be really passionate and direct about how you feel in your life going forward picking out what is good for you either in thought and in action and also you're actually coming to a place of being decisive so you were confused before so you're coming into being decisive it could be about this proposal this offer that, com that is coming through you've now decided whether or not to take it because something came to you that revealed or someone came to you and um either help you to, to to make the decision easier i don't know what it is that they're bringing they're bringing some secret something that will come to light something that will come to light that will help you to settle your mind here so look out for that newness coming in within this period of the of the new moon to full moon so sorry within the new moon period that we're experiencing here Something is going to help you to make a clear, precise decision on where you want to go. I feel like this could be you actually going toward this, this marriage, this relationship. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We rewards, abundance, celebration, just everything. Prosperity coming into your life, family. Um, your business is working out. You feel high value. You're actually attracting high value people into your life in this time. So you could be elevating, stepping up, getting married, or this could be a business partnership and not necessarily a marriage and you're looking to partner with someone that's going to be su successful, bringing new beginnings of success. I feel like it will give you something to work on, to be of service, and it's something that you actually are good at and enjoy doing. You could be partnering with that earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I see fire sign also in your chart aries leo sagittarius there's water there's basically all the signs here so i feel like you are the one with the main attention of course this is your reading looking to make a decision on how to move forward either in a business proposal or a marriage proposal and it's going to cause you to leave something behind something is going to come through in your life that's going to help you to make a decision on which direction to go either to take this offer or not what is best serving to you this is your set card the ace of spades aquarius that's coming for aquarius during the week this is for aquarius within this week thank you so much Oops. Oh. aquarius this card basically is confirming that this is your reading any other messages for Aquarius? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you find messages that resonate with what's going on in your life. If you do, please do consider subscribing to my channel for future uploads. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Any other messages for Aquarius? Thank you so much. Oh, wow. 
Aquarius, financial abundance. I feel like if you do take this opportunity, you'll be rewarded financially. Or if it is a marriage, you'll feel good, you'll feel valuable, good about yourself. It will be rewarding. I feel like this love offer that is coming in is actually saying, let us do this together. I, I don't think it will be easy. It's, I don't think it came through the best of situations. Maybe you both went through some struggles, some conflict in the past, but this person is still stepping up to say, let us do this together. And I feel like you have made a decision to go forth with it. I feel like whatever this is revealed by the moon, it's cause it is what causes you to really make a decision and it will be a blessing for you. This decision will help to carry something away that just has been sitting there waiting for this motion to move it through this water motion, Aquarius, um, in the moonlight here. Moving away, following your own path, following your own heart space, your own intuition. Because sometimes there are so many other, there are so many other motivational speakers, there are so many other messages that we can hear outside of ourselves. And yes, they touch our emotions, they inspire us. But there's a time when we have to carry off into our own world and let our emotions speak. Let our bodies be tuned to the naturalness of the earth, of the planet. Let the moon tell us what's coming up in our energies, you know. Let, let my body speak for itself, my intentions, my intuition. Let me be directed, guided by my own self without the mumblings of other people and what they went through. And that's a beautiful process to be in. That's what I feel this High Priestess card is saying, guided by the moon energy. The new moon, have you looked? Have you seen the new moon recently? I'm um, Aquarius, it's beautiful. It's so, it looks very similar to this, but not in this. It's so big. I really like this new moon. I'm not getting to see a lot of it because when it comes up, it's behind some bushes. But from what I'm seeing, it's such a beautiful new moon. I'm going to look to see what kind of a, anyway. All right, Aquarius, thank you. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for coming through. I hope that these messages resonated with you. I hope that you learned something um, about I hope that you learned something about your life some get some insights about what's coming into your future. So I'm telling you to look forward now to blessings and abundance coming into you, possibly a marriage or a business proposal. So thank you so much for coming through and I hope to see you again next time. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for future uploads Aquarius. Thank you so much. Your support is very, very much appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Take care.